Welcome back. Our next video is navigating the Automated Decision Manager, otherwise known as ADM. Before we do begin, exactly what is ADM? Well, this is AND Mortgage's loan origination software, and it is a web based software application. It allows you the ability to enter your loan and originate through our system and take it all the way through closing. When you're ready to begin, open Internet Explorer and enter wholesale.admortgage.com. On our landing page in the upper right hand corner, you will see the ADM login button. Once you do click on that, you'll get to our login and password page. Once you've entered that information, you may receive one or two pop-ups. The first one will be an indicator and a notification that you are not using Internet Explorer. Simply close that application and open Internet Explorer and start again. The second may come directly from Internet Explorer regarding a compatibility mode issue. This is an easy fix. Simply go to the settings in Internet Explorer and look for compatibility view settings. You'll get the first pop-up that shows admortgage.com. Click on the Add button. And once it hasn't been added, at the bottom of the screen, click on Close. Now, once that's done, you may receive an error message such as the one on the screen. This is another easy fix. Go to your top navigation bar and click on the Home icon. This will bring you to our landing page. Our landing page has three distinct sections. The top is the top navigation bar. On the left side, we have our left navigation pane. And the center of the screen is our most used functions. We'll begin by manually entering a new loan. And you can either click on the link in the center of the page or in the left navigation pane. Before we begin, we do need to select an originator. So click on the magnifying glass, enter the originator's last name, and select that individual. Complete all the fields for borrowers 1 and 2 if you have them. And at the bottom of the screen, click on your loan status, origination, and the origination channel should default to wholesale. Once that's been completed, you can select the destination once you save the loan. In this case, we will select Edit 1003. The second method is to upload a new loan using Fannie Mae 3.2. Simply select an originator from the magnifying glass as before. Click on the Select File button. Search for your Fannie Mae 3.2 file. And as a reminder, we can add up to eight loans at one time. For the sake of this demonstration, we'll just work with one. And again, you'll select your loan status, origination channel, and upload your loan. Once your loan has been entered and you are on the edit 1003, we'll look at the options that we have from the top navigation bar. On the left side is the Loan Actions menu, where you will have several navigation options, such as looking through pipeline summary, loan history, edit the 1003, edit the fees worksheet, and the price law. Above that, you'll have the loan statuses. This loan is in origination, has not been locked yet. On the right side of the navigation bar, you have our home icon, eDoc Manager, Change of Circumstance, QM ATR, Loan Notes, Loan Messages, User Settings, and the Logout button. Now we have entered the Edit 1003 option. The tabs are aligned the same way as the URL A is aligned, where the top tab is Types and Terms. The first section you'll notice are our ratios. If you click on the blue icon, the system will demonstrate and show what figures were used in arriving at those ratios. This is informational only. 
Under Loan Configuration, if you already selected a Closing Cost template, you can no longer select it from here. Instead, you'll need to go to the Fees Worksheet. Loan Product can be changed at any time by clicking on the magnifying glass. For non-QM products, please be sure that you're scrolling to the bottom of the selection window. And we can select anywhere from a 5-1 arm, 7-1 arm, and 30-year fixed product. Credit grade will mean remain as no credit grade. And for the income verification type, be sure you're selecting a type that is consistent with the loan product. In the center of the screen, we have type of mortgage in terms of loan. Ensure that this information is accurate based on the information that you've entered. As our pricing engine does rely on the accuracy of this information. Once you have confirmed that this information is entered correctly, you can either click the save button at the bottom of the page or the yellow right arrow to proceed to the next tab. It's recommended that you save your loan before moving on to the next tab. The property tab does have the information for the subject property. Ensure that it did carry over properly. Adjust anything that may not have carried over properly or any corrections that you need to make. If you are submitting a loan that is in an LLC, we can easily fix that by clicking the manner in which title will be held. Select LLC the estate in which it will be held and click on the yellow plus sign to add a new title holder. For the sake of an LLC, the title type will be title only and complete the fields with red asterisks to be able to move forward. Once you save this information, You'll notice that we now have a new title holder at the bottom of our title holders section. However, we will need to remove the first two title holders and ensure that the LLC remains the only viable title. Under the borrower information, click on details, ensure that we do have a phone number. an email address for each of the borrowers associated with this loan. Our employment section only carried over information for John Homeowner and it's not complete. We'll take a few moments now to select information from the drop-down boxes and adjust time at work. Now we need to add information for Mary homeowner. By selecting Mary, click the green go and then add her information. And proceeding over to the income tab, we have information for John homeowner, but no information for Mary homeowner. Again, we'll click the yellow plus sign, add Mary homeowner. You can either enter the monthly income amount or with the calculator icon to the right of that field, you can enter the annual income and the system will provide the monthly. Under housing expenses, you have some grayed out fields. Those can only be modified by clicking on the blue icon and entering the fields appropriately. Click OK. And now our housing expenses have been updated. Ensure your assets are correct. And here we have a schedule of real estate owned for John homeowner where the REO asset ID is listed as number one. Ensure that under the liabilities, that real estate asset is also listed as number one by first looking for the mortgage type as mortgage and confirming the REO asset ID matches. The details of transaction 
On this screen, you can add or adjust any credits to the borrower. This information will also populate on the fees worksheet. For your declarations, any of these items that may be marked yes, please be sure that you provide an explanation, otherwise the system will provide a hard stop. In the Acknowledgement and Agreement section, ensure that you have completed this field as always. For both borrowers on this application, and at the very bottom of this page, ensure that your information as well as your company's information is correctly reflected at the bottom of this page. And once you've done that, be sure you're saving the 1003. You have successfully edited the 1003. And we'll catch you during our next video.